Thank you very much. Uh, this has made a short speech a little bit tougher, and probably a little bit longer, but I appreciate uh, the people that took the time uh, to send in the best wishes and regards, and the people that came here today, some of the ranking dignitaries of some national league teams that are here, that I can't thank enough uh, for their participation in today's uh, game, and I am truly thankful. And I just hope, in this short time that I'll speak, that I don't forget someone that has truly meant uh, an awful lot to the building of the 67s and my career. I'll start by because they introduced my family, I will say that it was Judy who volunteered me as a coach years ago uh, when Billy went to register and uh, I didn't want anything to do with hockey at that time. I had retired and thought, okay, I'll take a year off so I won't think that I could go back. I wasn't that good anyway. And anyway, as it turned out, Judy went over and I said, now don't volunteer me. So my coaching career actually got started by Judy because she did volunteer me. And as it turned out, uh, I was an assistant coach with the team, but the head coach was a fellow that came from the north, he was in the RCFP, and he had never had anything to do with hockey. And he, he said, Brian, I think we've got our roles reversed. Do you think that you could take over and coach and I'll be your helper? And I felt a little sad that here was a fellow that his wife volunteered me. So that's actually how I got started in coaching. I had the tights, and then another good friend of mine, Tommy Ray, was connected with the 67s at the time, and I took over a midget team a few years later, and it was probably that midget team that brought the attention to myself, because they had been demolishing teams around the province, and uh, a pretty good bunch of Ottawa kids took this Russian team and tied them 4-4. Right here, I think at the time, it was probably still a record, the largest crowd ever, we tied the Russians 4-4, and it wasn't long after that Howard Darwin, the group of Howard Darwin, Jack Mitzella, and the late Howard Henry and Bill Cowley asked me if I'd be interested in coaching and manager, and I said, well, I can't, and Howard will remember this. I said, I don't know nothing about managing, I'm sorry, so I can't qualify for the job. Howard said, don't worry about it, I'll help you. So anyway, they got me started. They took a chance on someone that had no experience in hockey, other than working with midgets and little kids. And uh, they gave me the opportunity to be part of the 67s, which I never thought would be a lifetime. Then it was a couple of years after that, Earl Montagna became a partner. and. It was just one of the, it was just like a family. Uh, everything we did was for the kids, the betterment of the kids. And I was fortunate to work with Howard Miro for so many years. And then when Jeff Hunt came along, uh, nothing really changed. Jeff had, had the same ideas that Howard Earl did. They said, uh, run it uh, for the betterment of the kids and see where it takes us. And uh, I'm being so fortunate to have owners uh, that were so lenient and so good. And people have asked me the longevity in coaching. And the secret I've always told them is, if you get to know the owners and you get to become good friends, it's tough to fire a friend. So that's the reason <laughs> my friends kept it. We didn't have every year successful, I want you to know that. But uh, they understood. And that's the reason I'm still here. Since uh, day one, uh, I, I like to think that we've always had the players first. And uh, when we had to have medical attention, we've had the best team of doctors. Some have changed over the years. But it's funny when you go back, uh, a couple of doctors stick in mind. One has been with me for 32 years, that's Peter Premichuk, and his uh, sidekick was John Russell. And not only did they stay with us for all those years, but they kept me in good health, and 
I want to thank them both for giving me some good advice a long time ago. They said, you know, a couple of Molson X and a good cigar, you'll always have good health. So I had the right team of doctors. No organization can be successful without the land parents that look after our kids when they come here. And to all the landladies and landlords that I've had over the years, I can't thank you enough for opening your, your homes to our players and looking after them. And I know that it's the same that goes with our, our school people, uh, Teresa Kelly and Mary Kelso, who look after our players at school and monitor their success so that it's things that I don't have to do. And it's my girl Sharon in the office of our staff that have worked extremely hard to make Bert O'Brien's night and this night a success. It's the people behind the scenes. So uh, to you people, uh, you're the ones that made it work. And I really do thank you. Thank you very much. Again, no, no uh, organization is successful without volunteers. And when I started, I had little knowledge of the background of what to do in the rink. And I, I was very fortunate that, that uh, there was two people that I remember when I started, and they said, don't worry, we can help you too. And that was the late Tommy Lawson and Barry McDonald, who had had all kinds of experience in hockey. And they came along and they helped me. And I just, uh, when I think back to what they did, you know, you just take for granted at the time. But they, their help was insurmountable in the success of the team. So there's some people that people don't realize. And then when you get the volunteers that get on the bus and look after the kids, whether it be meals or uh, tickets or something special or whatever, we've had volunteers. And some of them been on the bus I could mention names, but you wouldn't know them uh, because of the, we don't mention names, like a, a stump and a tank and a bob and a, uh, and Smitty D. And these are fellows that just help and help and do everything for the kids to make the life easier for a coach and the coaches. So to the people behind the scenes, thanks. I, I know that uh, Brian Kilray has been awarded a lot of success and recognized but it's, you can't do it by yourself.